Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to be doing the curly hair must-haves for 2022. All of these products that I'm going to be showing you today have been a life savior because I've colored my hair about three times this year and my curl pattern hasn't changed or anything. I will put a picture right here of how my curls were when I dyed my hair orange at the end of the year and here of when I dyed my hair red at the beginning of the year. As you can see, my hair just grew a little and um, I got more definition actually, which is strange because I dyed my hair. But um, I ended up having more definition in the end of the year than I did at the beginning of the year. So yeah, and my hair grew. So yeah, before we start, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell so you get notified whenever I post. So before starting, I just want to say that I love some of these brands so much that I partnered with them throughout 2021. So if you guys are planning on getting some of these brands, I do have coupon codes for you down in the description box. So we're going to start off with shower products. So these are the products that I use uh, shampoo or conditioner. So I basically go on and off with these two products right here. Uh, my mom actually just got me the big the big bottle of the Lust. Um, this one is the conditioner. And then this is also the conditioner that I use right here. So these two conditioners are the ones that I've been using for the year. Um, I go back and forth because your hair like gets used to certain products. So they don't usually work as well. I don't know if that makes sense. But usually if I use the same shampoo or the same conditioner for too long, I feel like it stops working with my hair. I don't know. Maybe my hair just gets used to it. But... Um, I switch on and off about every three weeks between these two shampoos and these two conditioners. Right now I'm holding up a shampoo and a conditioner. Um, but this is the Lust ones. I just got these from my mom for Christmas, the big bottles. And then these are the Malibu C ones. So as for shampoo, both of these shampoos give me a lot of lather and they don't have any harsh chemicals in them so they are curly girl friendly. And um, I feel like they definitely clean my hair without stripping my hair. Like my hair actually feels better after I shampoo than before, if that makes sense. Because a lot of shampoos strip your hair. So it leaves your hair feeling really dry and icky after um, applying them. But these shampoos don't and I feel like they really clean my scalp. I'm actually going to do a video on how I wash with braids because I need to wash my braids right now. But um, yeah, so... That's for the shampoo. As for the conditioners, both of those conditioners give me a lot of slip. And I don't have to use too much product in order to get the slip. And they make the tangling way easier. So, yeah, again, I use Malibu C and Lust. And these are also two of the brands that I do have coupon codes for down below. So if you'd like to get anything from their stores, you can just use the codes. Um, so now let's move on to treatments. I have quite a lot for these because since I've dyed my hair about three times, I have to use a lot of treatments in my hair. So let's start with the OG. If you've been on my channel, this is literally like empty. If you've been on my channel, you know this is the OG. I use this all the time. This helps my hair grow and everything. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. I've gone through about three of these, um, not in one year, <laughs> probably in about two years I've gone through about three. And this is the holy grail right here, 10 out of 10, recommend. Um, it grows my hair, has my hair feeling great, smells great, just everything about this product is a yes. Um, the next one I'm going to do is a new product that I actually found. It's new to me. I don't know if it's new in general. Um, it's the TGIN Miracle Repair CPR Protein Treatment. And it has black castor oil and biotin. So before I colored my hair, the only pro protein treatment that I was really using was um, Olaplex. But now I started to use the TGIN one. And I love this one as well. This one is obviously more cost effective. Um, of course, Olaplex is also in the must-haves for the treatments because we love Olaplex. But it is very pricey for a small amount. So definitely recommend this one. Um, I Before I dyed my hair 
as many times as I did I didn't use protein treatments as much because I felt like my hair had enough protein in it but because I dyed my hair so many times um this protein treatment has been a lifesaver my hair feels and looks amazing the shine is there if I have too much moisture in my hair this definitely reverts it and yeah again this is a TGIN Miracle Repair X CPR protein treatment so the next one is Malibu C again um this is their replenish hair mask deep conditioner so this deep conditioner and this deep conditioner are really ooh that's not right and this deep conditioner are really the only ones that I've used um this year just because I try not to change the products that I'm using as much so that my hair can really because I don't know why I can't speak um because when I started my curly hair journey I was using a whole bunch of different products. I felt like my hair, nothing was happening to it. It wasn't growing. It, the curl pattern wasn't helping. So I decided that I was going to stay to one regimen for a little while and then switch it. And I feel like that really helped my hair. So ever since then, I haven't changed it. So I usually just use around the same products for the most part. Unless I get gifted some products or anything along those lines that I can try new products. Because it really helps my hair. And I'm really trying to have my hair grow, guys. Like, I want my hair to be down to my butt. And we're not there yet. So, yeah. Back to this. Um, these conditioners really help my hair, especially with the color. Because it makes my hair feel really moisturized. It gives me the definition. It hydrates my hair. And, yeah, I usually leave them on for about at least 30 minutes. But they some of the instructions, this one says... What does this one say? This one doesn't say how long to use it, but yeah, this one doesn't say how long to use it. This one says, let's say, this, no, I need instructions, guys, come on. Our story, a lot of writing on this. Ingredients, after shampoo, okay, this one says, um, sit under a warm dryer for 10 to 15 minutes, maybe left on hair for up to 30 minutes without heat. So yeah, I use it on for at least 30 minutes. Sometimes it's more than 30 minutes. Depends on how I'm feeling and what else I'm doing in the shower. But yeah. So these two, 10 out of 10. But of course, this is my holy girl right here. Um. Oh, the last of the treatments is the Malibu C Curl Pattern Treatment. So I have like all of these. Um. So basically how these work is there's like crystals inside of them and when you use water with the crystal it activates the um treatment in the hair so i have a video on tiktok of me using these products i think it's pinned on my page so if you guys want to see how to use this it's on my page um i use this when i had first went blonde so obviously i'm blonde my hair was way more damaged and very dry so in the video you can see how like my hair went from super dry and like undefined to defined and not dry and moisturized and shiny so yeah i'll link that tiktok video down in the description box as, box as well um so now we move on to styling so styling for me, it really depends on what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to accomplish. If I'm trying to have more volume, if I'm trying to have more definition. So these two products are from Curl Smith. They are the Feather Light Protein Cream and the Bouncy Strength Volume Phone. So these are ones that I mainly use in the spring-ish because this does not provide a lot of um, definition. It's more volume and because it's not summer so it's not humid and it's not winter and it's not dry. So my hair stays fairly well for about four days. Um, so yeah, this I use these two products if I'm trying to achieve volume rather than definition. And of course they provide me with moisture and they're curly girl friendly. They're cruelty free and vegan as well. So yeah, these two products is when I'm trying to achieve volume. So I use these two products from Miss Jessie, the Multicultural Curls and the Jelly Soft Curls. So I usually use this in the winter because my hair gets very dry. And these two products seem to be some of the only two products that can really help my hair when my hair is super dry and still um, let me keep it out for like five days without it being a big frizz ball or super dry or anything 
so yeah these two products are what i use in the winter so like right now if my hair was curly i'd have these two products in my hair so yeah then i use the lust uh all-in-one curly cream sorry um i use this one in the summer and in the fall um this is a like one and go kind of product it's an all in one repair hydrate and style sorry um so this product i use in the summer and in the fall because i don't know it just works for my hair best then i haven't i actually haven't tried to use it in the winter or the spring so maybe i'll try but yeah definitely this is my go-to in the summer my hair doesn't get frizzy as fast as with other products and it's very lightweight since it's only one product rather than putting a product a gel a cream a leave-in no i just use this one and it keeps my hair good doesn't get too frizzy so yeah um oh so basically this one i just included this is the extreme pro expert the gel I don't think this is curly girl friendly, but I really couldn't tell you. I haven't looked at the ingredients. Um, but this is just when I'm doing my slick backs or anything with a ponytail or need my hair back. This is just a gel that I use. So, I don't know if this is considered style. I mean, this one is definitely considered styling. So, this is the Mish Beauty Polished Hair and Scalp Oil. So, I use this oil every day. Um, whether my hair is in braids, whether my hair is in out, doesn't matter. I use oil every day. So basically for this oil, I use it on wash days when I am fluffing out my hair in the end. After my hair is dried, I fluff it out with this oil. Um, every morning when I wake up, I put this oil on my scalp and I rub it and I shake my head. Um, if my hair is in braids, I just run it, you know, through my braids. Um, if my hair is in a ponytail, I put it on the ends of my, uh, curls so that my ends aren't dry. I can't speak. So that my ends aren't dry. But this is the only oil that I've been using for a while now. Uh, I'm surprised it, I don't use a lot, which is why it still has a lot in it. But, um, yeah, this is the only oil that I really use. I feel like it's not heavy, it's very light, and it doesn't feel like my hair is all greasy. And I feel like I got that with a lot of other oils. So yeah, this one is the oil that I use. Maybe I should try a hot oil treatment. I think I've tried. I think I tried it when I was like transitioning, but not after. Um, okay, this one is my like savior right here. So this is a Not Your Mother's Natural. I can't pronounce this. Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Tangler. I don't use this as a detangler. I use this as a refreshing spray. There's absolutely nothing in here. Um, I just had the bottle and throw it away. <laughs> but um, this is my refresher spray. So along with the Mish Beauty oil, this is what I put my, in my hair in the morning if I feel like the curls are kind of dropping or something. I literally just spray it in my hair and just like rub it and my hair is good. Um, I don't really know how it works, but my hair be looking good. So yeah now we are going to move on to ones that aren't like specific i mean ones that are specific to straightening my hair so these are the two products that i use as heat protectants when straightening my hair so it's the tresemme heat protectant up to 450 degrees heat tamer Termin thermal creations leave-in spray and this is the olaplex number no. six bond smoother so when I ever go to um, the salon or straighten my hair, I always wash my hair, put a deep treatment, and then I go in with this spray right here. I spray a lot of it throughout my whole head to make sure my hair is protected. And then I go in with the Olaplex Number no. 6 Bond Smoother. And this is like their um, styling cream. I have also used it as a styling cream in the past, but I like it better as a heat protectant. So I also use it as a heat protectant. And this is a specifically good heat protectant if you have colored hair. Um, my hairstylist recommended this to me to use as a heat protectant. And it works very well. My hair literally looked fake. Like I'm going to put a picture right here of what my hair looked like when I got it straightened. It looked fake. I looked like I was wearing a wig. It looked so good. And I'm definitely going to say it was thanks to this right here. My hair was shiny. It was sleeky. It was just... It was just bomb. Um, so yeah, I think that's all the products I have here. Um, if you guys want to know about other products, like 
I don't know what else. But if you guys want to know about other products and have questions, um, you can leave a comment down below and I will answer your comment if I've ever used the product. If you guys have questions about like any curly hair product or anything curly hair related, just comment down below and I will definitely answer as soon as I see it. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell so you're notified whenever I post.